It is a painted freaking trail of blood. Welcome back to Manchild Outdoors. It is December 22nd, and although the season's been long, I am not done yet. It's a frigid 29 degrees outside right now. It's definitely bitter, but it's got the deer up and moving, so hopefully we'll see one tonight. Time for some late season archery. Please show some love and subscribe to my channel. So as always, when deer come in, I'm on my phone. So here I am recording like a champ, like a true professional that forgot to push the record button again. Why do I keep doing this?
check out the doe behind me. She is eyeballing me seriously hard. She doesn't have any idea what she's seeing. This camouflage pattern is really doing its job right now. I just realized, like a punch in the face, that I didn't hit the record button. Finally, I moved just a little bit too much, and she finally spooks. Well, there is the arrow, only like that's the tree, like 10 yards from the tree. It wasn't a super hard shot, but we've already got a boatload of blood. And look at this. It is a painted freaking trail of blood. This deer might have went. I don't know what down here are good ways, but look at all this blood. Look at that. Jesus Christ. Look at this. Everywhere. Everywhere. Well, I'm not even trying to follow this blood trap. It's that easy. There's just blood everywhere. Absolutely everywhere. I mean, holy cow. Like, and he was on a full run when he did this. Oh, I was going to say, I think it ran out of blood, but it's everywhere. I just looked in the wrong direction. All right there. Look at that. All right there. Holy cow. I can't believe this deer was on his feet as long as it was. Now look at that. There's just puddles, puddles of blood. More puddles. Just puddles. Go down through here and look. Oh my goodness, more puddles. It's like more puddles. How have I not found this deer yet? Holy cow, it's just spraying everywhere. More blood. 
more blood. You just, oh my God, this deer went up this hill. That's ridiculous. Here I go. How in the world did this deer go up this hill? Look at all that. There's more. There's more. It's all over the tree. And there he is. Holy cow. Holy cow. Holy cow, all this blood. Holy cow. All right, got it done again tonight. Fourth deer out of the saddle. Second deer with this new Matthews lift. First deer with these new gas bowstrings on this Matthews lift. I couldn't be more happy. I got these strings on the other day, paper tuned it, wanted an indoor range today, sighted it in, dialed it in. I couldn't be more happy with how this new Matthews lift is shooting. It is shooting phenomenal and shooting even better with these gas strings. The match strings were kind of a nightmare to set up. These ones were so easy. Everything's shooting flawlessly and perfect. It was shooting lights out. And now, once again, out of the tree, shooting lights out. I couldn't be happier. This makes the fourth deer this season. And that's a slow year for me. We eat a lot of venison. So uh, putting all the meat in the freezer I can right now. So I am truly blessed right now with this deer because my objective tonight was just to get outside and enjoy the outdoors. And if something walked by, so be it. And God bless me once again. Something walked by. Watched, watched it fall at like 65 yards painted a blood trail so there was no tracking issues there was no recovery issues i couldn't be happier with how things came out worked out tonight i am so happy so guys i can't even say how much i love archery how much i love being in the outdoors so i'll leave you with this get outside enjoy the outdoors with somebody you love man child outdoors